Hello and welcome to another Ginger Math Petition video where I'm going to go through my predictions for A level 9709 maths for Cambridge to get you up to speed with everything paper one. So let's get started and it's quite a clear prediction here. So most of the topics that appear you are going to expect. Now the first one here is the binomial theorem with a 92% appearance over the last 13 papers. It's usually a standalone question, doesn't usually combine with another particular topic, usually towards the start of the paper. So these are a good way of getting nice and easy marks. However, you do have to be aware they can put some algebra in there, they can combine two binomials together and then make it a little bit tricky. But if you check out the video above, I go through tons of questions exactly like this. Our next almost certain topic is transformations, appearing at 92%. This is often combined with functions, which I'm going to mention separately in my certain section. This can also include sinusoidal models. So remember CBAD, so the order in which you actually work with a sinusoidal model. Again, I've given you an example question here where they ask you, okay, f of 2 of x minus 3, what is that transformation? So this is one that often gets understudied, so please do focus on this too. And on to the certain section. Again, none of these should be surprises to you, but I've got some interesting facts for you to really consider as you go through. The first one is radian measure. Again, usually a standalone topic. It always includes a diagram, so that's always a good hint. Right, I need to remember radians, and then I need to know those arc and area formulae. So they're usually the two things that get tested in some shape or form. They'll get you to work out the arc of a particular shape, and they'll get you to work out the area of, for example, the shaded area area you see in front of you. On to functions, which I've already mentioned here. This follows on very nicely from the IGCSE courses. So if you've done some work on the IGCSE courses, this shouldn't be a surprise. It's a little bit more difficult algebraically and can be combined with topics like transformations. So this is a good way of getting easy marks and quick easy marks as well. On to equations of circles. Again, this is something very particular to the A-level 9709 paper one course. It's often understudied because it often gets missed with all the calculus on the course and binomial and other things. Um, it can include things of coordinate geometry, perpendicular bisectors. As you can see in this question, a tangent to the circle. So make sure you've revised that along with differentiation too. Quadratics comes in 131%, so you can see it comes up every time and sometimes even two questions, and you really need to know your discriminants, b squared minus 4ac, and three conditions. That's really, really important. It can also occur in logarithmic equations, often embedded, or the question I picked out here, where I'm going to mention very, very soon about trigonometry, it can also appear in trigonometric equations too. So make sure you've covered it in a lot of different contexts. On to itself, trig equations and identities. Again, this is usually in the structure of they have an identity that you'll need to show or to prove. And then they've got that keyword here that you'll see here, hence. So you're using that answer, then solve the particular equation. So even if you don't get the first part correct, you can use the result from that to help you with part B. So make sure you know your quadratics as well, as I've mentioned just then, because it can also appear too. On to then the big topics of the course, which of course is differentiation and integration. I'm going to talk about differentiation first. Um, one thing that's not really realized is it's actually embedded throughout the paper. So you'll notice you often need some differentiation to work out other topics as well. So differentiation is quite hard to pin down. Sometimes there are separate questions. Use differentiation to do X, Y, Z, but just be aware it is embedded. Trigger words to think about, okay, I need to use differentiation. Anything to do with stationary points or turning points, that's really important. Also, if they mention about d2y over dx squared, you know there's going to be some differentiation in there as well. However, the biggest topic is integration at a massive 185%. So if I was to start revising this course completely from scratch, I would start with differentiation and integration. Of course, there are many algebra skills you need to do in order to actually answer standard questions, so be aware of that too. It's often one of the harder topics on the course as well. So if you're aiming for the real top grades, then the calculus is where you should be putting your focus to go from those B to A grades, A to A star. 
Um, there are two different forms. So one form I've just mentioned here where they give you a derivative and you have to work out the equation of a curve. That's quite common, but probably more common is the classic area between curves and lines, curves and curves. So work out the area between a graph or under a graph. That's really, really important to revise. Okay, if you want to see where I've got all this information from, I've gone through the last 13 papers. And I've given you a much bigger breakdown here. So if you want a copy of this, then just click on the description below because I give you all that information there. And if you want to get up to speed on all things A-level maths paper one, and you just want a quick two and a half hour breakdown of exactly what you need to know, check out the video right in front of you because I run through all those key topics I've mentioned in this video.